Hey Scooter fans, thanks for stopping by and welcome to Away We Scoot. And this guy, today we're going to cover all those scooters out there that you've been looking at, not sure what to buy, or maybe you want to upgrade or step back a little bit and find something really unique and special in the scooter world that is crazy right now. Definitely stay tuned to the end, you don't want to miss all this important information. So let's get going, let's roll that intro, and I'll see you in a second. All right, so let's jump right into this. So today we're going to be looking at this really comprehensive guide. Like I said, if you've never bought a scooter, you've been looking and there's just hundreds of scooters out there, you're not really sure what to choose or even what to look at, this guide is going to cover it for you. So definitely watch it through the entirety. There's going to be lots of information. It's very comprehensive, so you don't want to miss any of it. But we're going to break this down into four categories. Um, and I think these are the probably the top four categories that most people are going to put themselves in. Uh, category number one, it's actually going to be four rider types. And the first rider type is going to be that casual commuter. The second one's going to be more of the enthusiast, or I think most people are going to fall into, and that's kind of myself included. And then we're going to go into that off-road type racer rider type. Um, I kind of find it, I find into that, myself into that category at times. They're your more enthusiasts that are really going to want to take it off road and, and beat up their scooters a little bit more, get a little more thrill and excitement out of it. And then we have our specialty category, which we'll call the exotics. And that's, you're really getting up into that price range into that more of a extreme scooter type. Probably not going to be too many people falling into that category. That's definitely not me, but we're going to cover that and we'll go over a couple of those scooters as well. So jumping back into our first category, the casual commuter. So what does that mean? Uh, it's going to be your more basic um, commuter scooter. Uh, the price range is going to be right around that $1,000 range, probably a little under. It's going to be really lightweight, which is going to be important. Um, and that's going to fall into that category if you have to take it around a little bit more, a little bit easier to haul. Um, if you're commuting to and from work, school and stuff like that, and you just want that ease and portability. So it's going to be very portable, You're going to have those basic range requirements, which is still important. Um, that's going to be right around at 10 miles and up. It's going to be a single motor scooter, which is going to cut down on that range a little bit um, and that weight. And then I'm sorry, the weight more than the range. And then the speed is going to be right around that 20 miles per hour range. So the first one we're going to look at here is uh, brought to you by Fluid Free Rides, and that's the Fluid Horizon. This is a really great scooter. Um, it has a lot of things going for it. You can see it comes right in that $779 price tag. And before I jump into this real fast, this these scooters that we're going to be looking at are really for... It, it's more than the ones that you're just going to buy in your, your Walmarts or your Targets and stuff. Those are... I, I consider them very basic, basic scooters. So this is even a step above them. So if you're getting into scooters, this is what you want to start at, this level, and then either work up from there. Uh, these are really great starter ones. So let's jump into this Horizon one. So as you can see here, it's at a really great price range. It's a smaller scooter. It's got the, a little bit smaller tires. It has a great um, design to it, very clean. Um, let's jump into some of these uh, specs here. Uh, you have so this one is perfect. So it has goes up to this 23 miles per hour, 23 miles of range, 500 watt single motor, which is a little low. Um, if you're getting into more of a, a larger frame, so for me, for example, is 265 pounds. At 500 watt is going to be able to push it. It's going to it's going to be enough, but it will be a little tough on the motor at times, especially if you hit any hills. But that's okay because this is what this category is kind of looking at for right now. And it is a basic scooter, and this this great level of scooters we're going to be looking at here. And so this 500 watt is a great starting point. I would never go below 500 watts at all. Um, if you get even above that a little bit, which you'll see in a couple of these other ones, it's even better. So this is a great 48 volt, 10.4 amp battery. And then the weight of the scooter, which is very important to some people, 
comes in at 42 pounds and that's great especially if you have to carry these scooters up these steps uh, if you live in an apartment complex and you're constantly have to break it down and, and haul it up these steps or into tight spaces this is where these scooters really come into being a great value um, for what you get and the portability of it so let's take a couple look at these pictures here um, so and the way I'm doing it this way is because this is how most people are going to shop for their scooter so why not jump in let's look at it on the sites let's look at where you can purchase them from and how most people are going to look at it and the specs so I thought this was a very important way to do, do this comprehensive guide um, instead of just showing videos and clips and me talking out in some field let's look at it let's look at it how you would if you're trying trying to buy that that scooter that you like um, so this has this great breakdown system here so we can fold the deck down into uh, fold the handlebars handlebars down into the deck so you can see with this picture right here how it would collapse down into this nice compact size and a nice bonus here is that you can collapse these handlebars down as well if you need to fit that through a tight space or into your vehicle that's a nice feature to have looking into more of the specs of the size you can see there just from the size specs it's going to be a great starter size for you uh, to be able to fit into those tighter spots We'll scroll down here a little bit just so we can look at more of these specifications down here so we covered these up here to 42 pounds which is a, a nice uh, weight to be able to carry these scooters around um, and they just talk about the the range the ride quality there there we go this is what we're looking for so we have eight inch solid rear tire which is nice and the, the the bonus and the negative of the of the solid tire is is that it does uh, limit some traction when you're riding um, and it is a little bit more of a rougher ride however you don't have to worry about flats um, especially pinch flats when pinch flats when you get into a tire that has a tube in it um, that's something that needs to be thought about and if that's a concern for you then a solid tire um, is a way to go so that's a nice thing I personally like a solid tire especially on these smaller scooters like I said it's a little bit of a rougher ride but having a solid tire um, definitely is going to cut down on any worries that you might get with having a flat um, and then the the front tire does have a little bit larger as you can see here but is an air filled tire um, so it will give you that suspension and a little bit of a cushion on that front going into the brakes you have a drum brake setup and it comes with the region drake braking as well which is nice because you some people like to have that included um, because it gives you a little extra braking power and that comes from the motor and then this one has the drum brakes uh, compared to like a uh, a hydraulic brake which you'll see into the bigger scooters but I don't think that's really necessary in these because the speed of these are going to be more limited um, so the drum brakes are, are perfectly fine with this okay, so we talked about this briefly this 500 watt with an 800 watt peak power uh, gives you a little bit of uh, extra boost that the motor can kick into um, from the say from the start off uh, accelerating up and then uh, should kick in when you're going into any hills um, so that that little bit of uh, peak uh, power boost from the motor um, will be nice and then the other thing to consider over here in the weight limit category this one goes up to 265 pounds which is nice as well because most people uh, or most scooters should say have that weight limit especially in this category at that 220 pounds so this gives you a little extra that you can uh, for those bigger guys or, or girls out there as myself 
this gives you a little bit uh, extra um, play when it comes to uh, the, what the, the scooter can handle. All right, so let's jump into our second one here. We're going to be talking about the eMove Touring. I love this scooter. With the, all, the, all these color options, this is brought to you by Evoro Motors. So you can see here it comes in all these cool color options. If that's important to you, well, this scooter will give it to you. So just your standard black that you see in most scooters. This one comes with all these cool scooter colors. So this one comes in at a really great price point at $8.99. Take a look at a couple of these pictures here. Have your nice finger throttle up here. And then also comes with a voltage meter and a keyed uh, to, to start the scooter, which is a lot of people like that, that keyed, some don't. I like to have it. It's just an extra point of security that you don't have to worry about somebody just riding off with your scooter. You at least have to have that key to be able to do it. If your front shocks here on this one, so this is a really great scooter uh, if you're looking at something to get into that riding for the first time. A couple of dimensions. And let's go down to the specs here. So with this one here, and this is always an important thing you can see up here right underneath this technical specifications. So all these performance, as far as the top speed range, really comes into effect when it comes into your rider weight. So this is all based on a 150 pound rider. So if you're that 150 pounds or right around that, well then these, the, the top speed uh, acceleration, if it had it in here, and the, the range in itself, how many miles that you can get while you're riding, um, that's going to be pretty accurate to what they post here. But obviously, if you weigh more, those specs are going to go down. You're not going to reach that top speed of 25 miles per hour. I know I wouldn't if I was riding. That would probably more re more realistically be hitting around that probably 18 to maybe 20 uh, if I had a fresh battery in there right from the get-go. But so always have to take that into consideration when you're looking at these. That the, the specs are, are there to remember to sell this the, the scooter as well so just to keep that in mind um, so this one is at 25 mile top speed awesome great for this category max load 308 pounds even uh, more than the horizon you have that 48 volt 500 motor 48 uh, volt 13 amps so a little bit bigger battery double check this back here yep so you have 10 this comes with a little bit bigger battery and also this is important too this one specifically says it comes with an LG battery and that's a that's a pretty big thing so you have usually a couple of uh, battery options that some of these come with when you get into our next category you'll see that this one comes with an LG battery you have three top brands that you usually look at it's LG Samsung are the two and then the third one you'll see sometimes is Sony um, and manufacturers will point that out because they use a higher quality battery and most of the times you pay for that higher quality battery. The other ones, if it doesn't mention anything, it's pretty much coming with just your basic standard battery. Uh, there's no specific brand related to it so it's just the quality is not going to be uh, as great. The quality of the battery will have a uh, you'll get letter uh, less uh, voltage drop and uh, you may get more charges out of it just the overall performance of the battery will be better because of that name brand they just use higher quality better manufactured parts so always an important thing to look at going back to the the tires here so we have a front pneumatic tire and then have that solid uh, rubber tire on the back I think that's a great setup for these 
spring suspension, and then it just has your folded weight there. Take a look at these couple extra pictures here, a couple of comparisons, but we're not going to cover those. So there you go. So that is the E-Move Touring. Moving on to our third one in this category. It's going to be the V-Set 8, another great brand. Brought to you by Rev Rides. You can purchase this. Now V-Set always comes out with these interesting colors. This one is kind of a greenish slash gray color to it. You'll see in the V-Set 10 Plus that we'll cover, it's a uh, bumblebee yellow. And then you'll see in the 11 Plus that has this red and blue color scheme. If that's important to you, then that's something to look at. As far as functionality, you have this nice, great, simple design here again. A little bit different locking mechanism here on the back side. And so all these scooters are great. Um, that's why these are my top three picks when it comes to this first category here. Obviously, they're all going to perform just a little differently, but you can't go wrong with any three of these these scooters here. They all fold down into this stem that locks down into it with these folding handlebars, which are always a nice bonus with these. Let's jump down and couple these specs. This one also has a telescoping stem, which is the same with the E-Move Touring, you can see here. And then also with the Horizon, which is nice because then depends on the size of your rider, you can move that up and down so you can get a more comfortable ride. So a couple of specs on this, you have this 24 to 26 miles per hour, great top speed there, max range 22 to 37, so that there's many, many factors that, that go into the range and how far that you can go, so that's going to be how you ride it, rider weight, uh, the cold weather will affect the battery, that's going to obviously affect the range as well, how you ride it accelerations, hills that you ride, the terrain you ride on. So many, many factors that come into the range category. So just take this as a rough estimate based on usually around that 150 pounds is usually what they base it on. So you get that 265 pounds weight capacity is where the rider goes, the dual suspension and the weight of the scooter carried up those steps and down at 46 pounds so a little heavier than the other ones but still a definitely very reasonable amount we're gonna be looking at the v-set 8 right here so you can see on this one this actually gives you three different options that you can use as far as the battery has the 15.6 amp 19.2 amp and then down to the 21 amp and you can see right here these are your basic batteries on these two versions. And then this one is your top of the line battery because it is LG, so it's a little bit better. So if that's important to you, I always personally prefer to, to spend a little bit of extra money and get the better battery in there because honestly, that's what drives your, your scooter and that's what keeps you going is that battery. So it's gonna be there, you're gonna be using it a lot. So, I'd rather spend a few extra bucks and get the higher end battery. Gives you more range, gives you a little more speed. You get less, less voltage drops. So definitely a consideration to take in. As you can see here, you get more of a range. So you're 15.6, you get the 22 to 37. And then if you throw that 21 amp in there, you get 37 to 55. So you can see the dramatic increase usually raises the weight a little bit too on that um they don't have any weight change there but generally it does 
It also will increase because of the larger capacity of the battery and charging times. Um, I usually just charge my scooters overnight, so it's not really a problem for you, for me, but I also don't use mine as a daily commuter, so just something else to think about. And then you have all your standard front rear lights, turn signals. This one actually comes with turn signals. And then we already covered these categories. Um, the motor on this is a little bit stronger than the other two, coming in at a single motor 600 watts, which is a little bit extra. A little bit extra bonus on this. couple of the height specifications all right so that is the first category so let's move on to our second rider type which is probably going to be most of the people out there I would say 85% of the scootering population is probably going to fit into this category and the next one so let's jump into that right now all right rider type number two so this is gonna be the enthusiast scooterist this is the category I fit into, and like I said, most people are going to fit into. Our price range on these scooters are going to be right under $3,000. Range is going to be over 20 miles, so you're definitely going to be, this is going to be a bigger, heavier scooter. You're going to have a dual motor setup, so you'll have motors on the front and back. That is going to crush any hills that you're going to get out there. Uh, rider weight's not going to be so much of a factor on this. You're going to have plenty of scooter to really do whatever you want. Um, you can go on off-road with these. You're going to have a lot more options than your commuter scooterist out there. And the other ones we just previously looked at. And we'll look at um, these specs out here. Most of these will come with your hydraulic brakes on these. The speed around these, your top speed is going to be right around 35 miles per hour and up. So like I said, you're going to be able to get that speed in there. You're going to be cruising around, killing it. Let's jump into our first scooter here. It is going to be the Varla Eagle One. Extremely popular scooter. This is a new brand that came out recently. Um, they've pretty much been around for about a year, but this is very popular scooter. And as you can see, it comes in at a really great price at $1,700 right at Varla's website take a look at a couple of these pictures here you have these dual suspensions here on the front and back this is a very common setup you'll see a lot in this uh, this category here that we're going to be looking at can't go wrong with these ones I'm going to be showing you in this category all have this folding mechanism with the stem into the body so you can throw it into your vehicles suv truck not going to have any problems or issues with doing that let's take a look at a couple of these specs here these ads out of the way so we'll start at this one right here so this is going to be a 52 volt scooter so the other ones generally come in that smaller 48 volt i would never go any anything below 48 volts in this category we're going to be looking at this 52 volts it's going to be getting you a little bit higher voltage obviously uh, which is going to get you into those greater speed uh, speeds and you'll have a higher capacity battery that will go along with that as well so this one has a 18.2 and lithium battery um, so in this one there is no other options as far as battery goes um, it is what you get in this one you'll see when we look at say the vset 10 plus next you get a couple different more battery options like i said this one comes with your basic battery coming in at the range of 40 miles there just remember there are all those factors that are going to take place into it but this one has it at 40 miles. This also comes with a dual charging setup. Um, you'll see a lot of that when you get into this range of scooters here. Uh, to be able to get that scooter back on the road faster, you get two charging ports to use. Uh, if you use it on a single charge, eight to nine hours, two chargers, four to five. Some scooters come with two chargers, 
most only come with one in this category. Um, so sometimes you just want to buy a extra one. Usually not too expensive. You can get those in a variety of spots. AliExpress being one, Amazon sells a few, or you can get it right from the manufacturer as well. And like I said, I'm not going to cover some of these here. It, scooters always usually come with lights. Uh, you know, depending on how bright they are will will vary. If, I always put an external light on my scooters because I like that more illumination at night. That is uh, more of a personal preference. And most people out there would say usually buy an external battery or external light, I'm sorry, because the ones that usually come with the scooters just usually aren't enough. Uh, for example, this one, I'm looking at several reviews. Uh, this one, the, the headlight on this, which is, like I said, most in this category, just isn't bright enough. So you're going to be buying that anyway, but it's not really a huge factor that you're going to be taking into account when you're looking at these. Most are going to come with this extra, a little bit wider deck because you're going with the higher top speeds. You want that extra foot area to be able to place your feet on there. At your front and rear shock absorbers. And so these are great for this all around scootering. You want to do a little on road, a little off road. These are, this is good that category you're gonna you're gonna want to run into and and focus on a little bit more if that's your type of ride. So let's get into a couple of these specifications here. You have that dual motor setup, so motor on the front and back, both thousand watt. So you have 2,000 watts of power beneath your feet. You're going to have bigger tires on these at 10 inch compared to 8 inch tires on the other ones. This is a complete pneumatic tire setup. So you, this one comes with tubes on the inside. Definitely going to want to have a couple extras of those, uh, especially if you're doing off-road or you live in a area that has a lot of potholes um, that you might hit. You're definitely going to be blowing out those tubes. Something to just take into account. I prefer to a tubeless tire setup. However, for the most comfortable ride overall, a pneumatic tire is most likely going to be the most comfortable ride because it has air filled into the tire. Um, but the, the chance of you running into pinch flats is going to be greater um, or something pushing through the tire and hitting that air filled tube on the inside and then you have a flat that's going to increase having obviously a uh, pneumatic tire so you have that 40 plus mile range comes with a 1.7 amp charger and as you can see here 77 pounds so it's getting a little heavier so getting up those steps and stuff like that, or more into tight spaces, uh, because the, now these are bigger scooters, is definitely going to be a factor. If that is not a consideration for you, then don't worry about it. But it is getting into a heavier category. Another common thing that you might that you'll start to see on these is the angle of climbing ability. This has at a 30 plus degree angle that you can climb up as far as the hill goes so if you live in a hilly area such as say california which is very hilly out there on the other side of the coast um i live on the east coast uh you're i mean that's some, that's also something to consider as well especially when you're looking at these compared to more of the, the commuter scooters out there you're going to want that dual motor set up is why I say that. Um, that dual motor is definitely going to power you up those hills much better than a single motor. And the last thing we're going to look at is actually two more things we're going to look at is this max payload. So as the max of 330, they actually put a recommended of 265 on this. Um, but that has that uh, definitely additional weight which will come in handy for those bigger riders out there, including myself. 
This is a waterproof rating. Now you'll start to see these too. As you get into these higher rated scooters, this is an IP54. It is not waterproof, as I might say in here. It's definitely not waterproof. Remember, you're dealing with electric, uh, electric motors, electric batteries. Easy to get shorts in there if you get any type of water uh, through a screw hole that you might have or a little separation and um, a tube that runs through. Um, so, you know, riding in wet weather is just a risk that you're going to take. They put this on here. There's many factors to that, to be honest. Uh, so that's really kind of take it at your own risk <laughs> type of thing. But you, you will start to see that included in these. Though. All right, so moving on to our next scooter. One of my favorites, the VSET 10 Plus. Brought to you by Alien Rides. As you can see, the VSET line, like I said earlier, comes with these really super cool colors. This one has this bumblebee look to it, at least I think it does. Definitely unique and very cool looking. I guess some people like it, some people don't. I particularly really do. I think it looks, separates itself from the other scooters out there. Now the really nice thing with the VSET lineup is you have this locking mechanism right in the front. Let's see if we can find a better picture. Yes. This is very unique to VSET, um, especially on this 10 plus. The stem locking system. This is a huge bar that pops down here. This has a lock here on the, on the underside and they also get this thumb screw that and uh, screws into the stem so you have a three part actually a four part because you have this this part that folds down and then there's a little switch on the other side that you pull up and then it releases this whole not locking mechanism so it's very secure as far as you know that accidentally falling off uh, which would be a really bad thing on these scooters especially start to get into those higher speeds so this locking mechanism when you get into this range of scooters uh, is definitely something to keep in mind and look at. Like I said, the V-Set, this one is a phenomenal setup that they did on this. So I wanted to point that out. And so you have now three battery options on this one. Going from the 28 amp, the highest one, down to your other two. The 28 amp version is the only one that is an LG rated battery. These other two are just standard batteries. Those, as we discussed earlier, those are um, different uh, rated batteries and the quality of them are just a little, uh, a little more than others. Uh, but you're also going to pay for that. So this is a 60 volt system setup compared to the Vartla, which was just 52. So you get a little more speed out of this one, a little more, a little more torque than the Vartla. You also get bigger motors as to 1400 watt motors on this one. They rate this as 50 miles per hour you could go with a max range, max range of 45. Then you have that great 285 so those bigger guys out there will have no problems whatsoever 79 pounds this is going to cost you having to haul this up and down steps so just keep that in mind all right moving on to our next one here it's going to be the Kabu Mantis Pro, another great scooter. Coming in at $1,700. Definitely a little cheaper than the V set. Couple of battery options here as well. Take a look at a couple of these pictures closer up. Coming into the new year, we already have the 2020. 2022 models coming out. Pretty awesome. You see this one has a little bit 
thinner, thinner stem, different locking mechanism compared to the V set. But this is a common setup with this. Take a look at a couple of these specs here. Top speed 45 miles per hour, range at 40 with this 18 amp battery. You up that a little bit to the 24 amp, you have 45, so you get a little bit more. And then you also get a little more acceleration as well. You're gonna get that with the little higher amp batteries. Also a 30 degree hill climb. It's going to come in a little bit lighter at 65 pounds, charge 9 to 12 hours, which is pretty average. This is also a 60 volt controller setup. And then comes with hydraulic brakes as well. So like the Varla, this comes with two dual 1000 watt motors, so 2000 watts overall with a, oh, so that's the 30 degrees going at 17 miles an hour going uphill. And so that's just a general rating. Um, that's not, you know, oh, you got to take all those factors into account. So just things to keep in mind when you're looking at it. So this is a nice thing right here. Sometimes you just have to read through the description on these to see what you get. So this is that 60 volt setup. It says it comes with an LG or a Samsung battery, which is beautiful. So you don't have just that basic battery. You have those two options as well. So always looking for those higher quality batteries on these on those scooters. You will just get overall better performance. Moving on to our last one in this category, I want to throw four into this one just because I know this is going to be the most popular one. It's going to be the Dualtron Victor. Very popular scooter, very popular brand. Coming in at $26.99, so a little bit on the pricier side compared to the Varla and the Mantis Pro, but online with the V-Set. Take a look at a couple of these pictures here. It's being sold by Vara Motors, but is made by Mini Motors. I looked at their page earlier and they're actually out of stock on there. So I wanted to cover it here. One of the things um, I don't, don't know why Dualtron doesn't include it is you'll see on, I'll go back to, go back to the V set in a second, but you can see here on the back by the tire, there is no um, place to place your foot. So right in this area right here, there's usually a little bit of a foot rest in the back and that's nice for when you're riding, as you can see here, this section right here, there's a little bit of a foot rest back there that is usually where I rest my back foot when I ride. And that's great for when you're taking off the line and accelerating or you're going up a, a hill. Uh, you can place your foot back here to put your weight and to be able to adjust it. Why uh, the Dualtrons don't do that on theirs, I don't know. Now I know many people just install something back there and make a foot rest, but that was something that's something you'll have to do after market. See down here we have more of a comprehensive spec sheet. There you go. So range on this one's gonna be right, in that, right around that 50 miles. Top speed at 46. 
That is plenty of speed out there, my friends. I've <laughs> never ridden that, ridden that speed before. Ah, it's, it's pretty fast. It's, it's a good speed. Especially on these scooters with these small tires. They can get a pretty crazy. 4,000 watt dual motor, so 2,000 watt motors on the front and the back. 10 inch tube tires, so pneumatic tires. 3 inch wide. Very standard, great tires though. Is it a great size for this category? Max rider weight, 265 pounds. Dual charger set up. So I actually put the specifications for if you had a fast charger, that will definitely be something you would have to buy aftermarket. The only thing I say about the fast chargers is that will over time degrade the quality of your battery. Batteries actually like to be charged at a slower rate, so fast charging it will degrade your battery over time. Just something to keep in mind. Um, if I wanted to charge my battery up a little bit faster, I would prefer to use the two standard chargers instead of a fast charger. Optimally, using one standard charger would be the best and would save your battery the most. Coming at 60 volts, 30 amp, as you can see here in LG, and they even put the battery type in there, this 21700 battery, which is phenomenal. That is a higher scale battery from your standard 18650 battery that a lot use, so they like to highlight that, which is a great, great battery setup for this. And they actually don't even put a water resistance rating on this as far as like the IP54. They just put, all right, the ride under light rain. <laughs> That's another way to put it. But just something to uh, definitely be careful with riding in wet weather. Spend a lot of money on these. You want to have fun. And uh, get a little water in there and... Scooter might go on the fritz. All right, so those are the top four scooters I would recommend in this category. Let's take a look at the little bit higher end one now, moving up in our line. So let's jump into that one. All right, scooter fans, jumping into our next category here. This is the off-road racer category, this type of rider. So now we're getting into more of the extreme scooters out there. Um, a lot of people are going to fit into this category as well. These four scooters I'm going to show you are extremely popular and are in the top of the line scooters here. But with that is going to come a much higher price tag as well and heavier weights. <laughs> so. It depends like if, if this is going to be your riding style then maybe this is going to be the scooter for you but we're going to cover them and you can decide for yourself so in this category all these scooters are going to be over $3,500 and going up uh, this is really going to test the boundaries of your scooter riding and your abilities um, not the easiest scooter to start off on if you're riding for the first time uh, definitely for that more daring rider, we chose topper, top speeds. All these are going to be right around that 50 mile per hour mark and going up. And then you're going to have a really good distance uh, range on these as well. So jumping into our first one from Vora Motors again is going to be the extremely popular Wolf King GT Pro. Really cool color on this one. I love this gold yellow look on this. definitely stands out now we're getting into these dual stem looks so you're getting these more off-road top speed scooters here these dual stem setups really start to become popular and this one has this really cool setup here it definitely gives you more stability on these when you're riding um, you get less shake in the stem area and uh when you're, when you're getting into the a lot of vibrations when you're riding out there, you uh, 
you're definitely going to appreciate that dual stem and you'll appreciate that stability as well so definitely something to consider definitely something to look at as well so this one's coming in right at 3600 bucks let's take a look at a couple of these specs here An enormous 72 volt 35 amp Samsung or LG battery can't go wrong with that setup 72 volts is getting up in there to that range to, to handle those higher speeds let's do that here so top speed they're saying on this is 62 miles per hour based on a 150 pound rider definitely gonna be less if you're a bigger guy like me max load 330 pounds you're not going to find any of these scooters that have uh, weight limitations on these these are definitely going to be able to handle any bigger person out there which is a huge bonus uh, dual 2000 watt motors so getting up into those bigger motors now to handle those speeds and climbing abilities and off-road capabilities 72 volt 35 amp LG or Samsung so they don't even they don't even sell the standard batteries in these they come with the top of the line batteries bigger tires 11 inch tubeless tires remember I said that before a nice feature to have there are no tubes on the inside they are tubeless tires still filled with air it has no physical tube a nice thing to be able to do with with tube and tubeless tubeless tires is to throw a little bit of sealant in those tires uh, so if you do have a puncture a sealant will clog up those holes and will keep you riding longer uh, if you have and if it's just a a tiny puncture um, those will continue to uh, clog up those holes and you can still continue riding and might not even have to change your tires but that will that will come on a case by case basis but definitely something to consider to put in those tires is some uh, type of uh, puncture resistant um, uh, slime uh, is a popular one some people use I like to use flat out on mine but there are several brands out there they have those dual shocks on this one um, the nice thing on the Wolf King that some of the other brands don't come, this one actually comes with really bright, decent lights on the front. This would be one of the ones where you might not actually have to add a secondary lighting system because this one really does come with these bright LEDs in the front. They give it an IPX5 rating. So you can do those wet roads and light rain, um, but definitely stay away from those heavy downpours, but that is still always a risk. So just keep that in the back of the mind if you ever plan on riding these in the rain. The other nice thing with the Wolf King GT, which I don't know if you noticed in the other pictures, really comes with this nice TFT display, which I like a lot. I wish some of the other manufacturers would start to include that into their designs see it right here really like the way this looks nice and clean gives you a whole lot of information here all on one screen without having to flip through um, so I really do like that see that very see that a lot more on e-bikes some scooter manufacturers are starting to uh, put that in All these are going to come with this dual charger setup. These bigger scooters. A lot of these are also going to come with these wider four inch tires. So you get a little more ground uh, contact. Right, moving on to our next scooter here is going to be the Dultron Storm. It's their limited edition. 
as you can see now we're going up in price tag a little bit more than the wolf king gt coming in at almost fifty four hundred dollars but we have a lot more specs in this one max wattage on your motors 11,500 watts that is a crazy amount we had 74.6 miles per hour and on an 84 volt system at 12 inch tires this is definitely a crazy scooter but still not into our exotic scooters this is still right below that but definitely at the upper upper edge <laughs> so we're getting into that that category saying it has a 136.7 mile range also pretty nuts and speak into all those other factors we talked about before 330 pounds and then this is not the scooter for hauling up those apartment steps this is going to kill you <laughs> at 111.3 pounds that is a good amount of weight for sure so you can find some more specs down here see Dualtron makes a ton of different scooters all in different categories but that's not the one we're looking at we're looking at this limited edition pictures here has these nice rubberized decks on this as well which I like with the Dualtrons has this front suspension here too now the Dualtrons also come with a, uh, a little bit better setup as far as I can get back to my pictures here Hence the price tag, they use a little bit better setup when it comes to switching on your lights, uh, horn, it's a little bit more unique than you don't see on some other scooters. Has no effect in performance, but as far as looks goes, they definitely put a little more into, uh, into it. This also comes with a 45 amp LG 21700 battery setup. So one of the top batteries out there that you can get. And that is just a crazy <laughs> dual motor uh, on this one. Crazy. And you're going to be getting into this category. You're going to be looking at these hydraulic brakes on 166, on a 160 millimeter disc. Now, hydraulic brakes are just going to become a, a standard thing when you're getting into this category of scooters. So as long as it says out there what you're going to see, you're going to be okay. That's for sure. You can see a little bit closer setup of this this one also comes with a fingerprint sensor for security which is this right here so you can lock your scooter out the other nice bonus with this is that you're getting into those higher speeds those bigger motors on this so this comes with a damper installed already which will help you with those the wiggles or the wobbles when you get to those higher speeds. You've seen enough videos out there. Um, you're searching for scooters. Yeah, a lot, lots of accidents happen uh, when you get to those toppers, top speeds, and you start to get those those wiggles in the stem. The, the damper really cuts down on that and gives you more stability at those higher speeds. So that's why they install those in here. Of course, you have your dual charger setup. It's 
gonna be a standard thing on these higher ones. So this is just an all around high end great scooter. If this is in your price range and this is the type of person that, that you are and want to ride, you cannot go wrong with this scooter, trust me. It has some crazy specs. So this is the top of the line in this category for sure. Jumping into our next one, we're looking at the Nami Burn E. It's coming in right at $4,500, definitely cheaper than that Dualtron Storm Limited Edition. So if you don't want to, if you don't need all those crazy specs in that one, you still want a really solid scooter, step it down a little bit, save a few bucks. You really have a nice, great ride. You cannot go wrong with the Nami Burn E. This one also has a very nice display, which I like. There's a lot of information on there, nice and clean. Looks great. See here, it comes with this back step. This is this great metal frame that you see around here that you saw on the Wolf King GT. If that's a look that you like, maybe this is one to consider as well. A lot comes down to just uh, personal preference as well and what you like. Some might be sold on just these LED lights down here. Who knows? But like I said, all these scooters are really top of the line. You're not going to go wrong with any of these. See a couple of these specs here. Getting up into these 60 mile per hour speeds and 90 mile range with two 1500 watt motors and this is a nice solid 72 volt system a 32 amp battery coming in at a whopping 103 pounds as well so a little bit down to the specs a little bit more so just like you saw on the other scooter has the nut hydraulic brakes which are a very popular brand of brake Hydrox is going to be pretty much a standard thing in this type of category. With your 160 millimeter rotors. So this one actually covers uh, the controllers and display panel at an IP67. But you also have to consider that this is saying that it's at IP67. However, the rest of your scooter is only rated at IP55. So even though your components might stay dry, the rest of the scooter is your motor and internals like your battery are not rated to that. So cover these specs up top. Scroll back up here. So this uh, this little thing right here is an adjustability for your suspension to soften or harden your ride a little bit more. I don't think I covered that in any other video or any of these other scooters, but I know they they pointed out in this picture, so I at least wanted to cover what that was in case you're curious not all include that but this is something that they include on the shocks on this one nice little thing to be able to adjust your ride so that is the nami burn e jump into the v set 11 plus coming in a little bit cheaper and look at that this is even i have this such on a good sale right now and this is pretty recent. So like I said, this category is usually at this 3,500 and up price range. This is on a great sale at this present moment. As you can see here, it's normally almost 4,000, but it's at 3,000 right now. And that's for the 42 amp hour version. So that's the highest battery that they make on this. So if you're watching this video and it's a scooter that you like, that is a phenomenal price right now. But let's look at a couple more of these pictures here. 
as you can see in the other V set ones. If you like these color schemes that the V set comes out with, it's pretty unique to their brand. This has this Captain America look to it. You can see the star right down here, and then the blue and the red design. So have these cool lights on the side, which illuminate as well. pictures here so I think at this point looking at these you know what you're looking at and you know what you're looking for if you're looking into this category now it's pretty much what are the little intricacies that you like more than other ones this one has a different light setup this also has if you like this dual stem setup and maybe this is the one that you're looking at compared to the other ones as far as like the dual tron storm has a single the nami also has a single but if you like the dual stem such as the wolf king well then maybe that one is the design that you like so there's the narrows down even more choices for you this has a very bright light setup so you might not need any more additional lights on this one is based off a 60 volt system with that 31.2 amp battery but 42 amp if you get it on sale right now which is really a great price anyway back to this max max load at 330 pounds phenomenal max range 60 and speed at 53 two 1500 watt motors Plenty of speed and torque for you to cruise around. Do all that off-roading with this one. Can't go wrong. Say so you still have those hydraulic brakes. You're going to see those in all of these. So no worries there. Plenty of stopping power. And this one comes in at 128 pounds to carry around. Pretty nuts. So if you have a small compact car, and you plan on taking this places this might not be the category for you also something to think about if you have an suv truck no problems getting these in just a little heavy to get into uh, to lug it in and out but definitely will fit with the stem folding down scroll down here oh. not much down there We have our IP54 rating, like I said pretty common with these. You should always see some type of rating on there. Now this is pretty unique for the V-Set lineup. Uh, this also goes in turn with the 10 plus that we looked at earlier in the other category. This uh, single motor to dual motor to turbo boost. So the turbo boost is the unique thing. That, so you, when you hold down the speed button, it gives you a burst of power for a limited amount of time. I believe it is two minutes of burst time. So it pumps a little more amperage into your motors, so you get that burst of speed. And then it cuts off to cool the, uh, the motors down and the controller. And then it doesn't let you use it for a little bit. Um, but that is a unique feature to the V-Set line for the 11 Plus and the 10. So that's it. So let's move on to our next special category. It's going to be the Exotics. So let's take a look at that one. So this is our final and last category where most people are not going to fall in, but I definitely want to cover it because this is a rider category out there and you will have those few out there. And if you're not aware of it, oh, well, now you are. So let's take a look at this last one. This is going to be our exotics categories this is really going into our more extreme, extreme scooters out there. Uh, this, this category, these two scooters, which I'm going to show you, uh, is over that $7,000 price range. These are going over 60 miles per hour. 
and up some really crazy speeds. Um, like I said, this is not for many people out there. You get into these really crazy riding speeds, it becomes very dangerous. I mean, take in mind that you're riding on these little tiny tires and you're just open to uh, <laughs> nothing to protect you. So, but I definitely wanted to cover these because these are really fun scooters and they're unique. Uh, so let's jump into our first one. This is the Ryan Thrust. Uh, and now these are usually pretty hard to come by. Um, these are one-off made. They're not mass uh, stocked and, and made and sold. So you're definitely going to be waiting some time to get these two brand of scooters that we're going to cover here. Um, so like you're going to, so in these scooters, bear in mind, you're paying for that price tag, but you are going to be getting a lot of the top of the line stuff in these. So for example, I would say this is definitely, um, this is definitely up there in what you're, you're going to be getting. Um, and you, you'll be able to see with the, with the build quality of this coming with a carbon fiber body, uh, with the fenders, uh, the aluminum to keep down a little bit on the weight. Um, you can see down there being this, this scooter, it's still pretty is, it is still pretty small. Um, and they do that carbon fiber and that aluminum to keep down on that weight, even compared to the other categories. That's why this one comes in at just 69 pounds, which is crazy at, for everything you get in this, that is a crazy weight, but you can tell, um, the size of this compared to the other ones. It's just not as beefy. Um, I probably wouldn't be taking this one off the road to ride it. This is more of a road scooter with all that power that you get with these dual motors. Um, so this is a 88.2 volt, 30 amp uh, battery system. It comes with those high end 2700, 21700 batteries. Uh, and then you have, like I said, that carbon fiber, which really cuts down on that weight. Uh, phew, look at that top speed, nuts at 80 miles per hour, over 80 miles per hour. Like that's that's insane. I wouldn't even even fathom going that fast on one of these. But some people are crazy like that. <laughs> As it says, extreme acceleration, and these really do take off the line. You see these videos, these of these scooters, they really do jet off the line pretty fast. Uh, jerks your arm and your body back. I mean, it's yeah, it's pretty nuts. Estimated range coming in at 40. To 50 miles per hour or per charge and obviously that still you know weight comes into play on on these as well so that that and the way you ride these and especially these if you're doing those cra crazy accelerations and speeds that is dramatically going to decrease like i said these aren't mass produced so yeah this production time of on this one specifically plus 150 days so definitely plan on waiting and you're going to be spending it at eight thousand five hundred dollars plus shipping um shipping i would say would probably be around easily over you know 150 dollars on these so that's why i call this one the exotic extreme category <laughs> so so this isn't for most but uh, definitely fun ones to look at uh, if that's something that interests you. So the last one we're going to look at is the WePed SST. Another crazy scooter out there. This is uh, a Korean manufacturer. It has these really cool lines. This one is definitely not light like the Ryan. And we'll look at that in a second here. So they do this at over 70 miles per hour i've watched a ton of these videos i've never ridden one of these um of course i would love to but the ones i've seen these are really uh nuts on the, the torque and acceleration you get on these over 70 miles per hour you have your massive battery packs you're going to get with this these 21700 uh, batteries at 50 amps which is nuts I know you get a crazy range on this one as well, but all that will come into uh, factor the way you ride. Pretty heavy scooter at 115 pounds. 
I don't know anybody that's going to be cruising at 65 miles per hour unless you're a little, little crazy. But cruising at that and keeping that speed is pretty nuts. But that is there. Max load, 300 pounds. And like I say, you're going to be getting these pretty massive batteries on there. So you can, uh, you can keep these scooters rolling for some time at an 80 plus mile range. And there's your key factor again at 18 miles per hour under optimum conditions. Probably that 150 pound rider again. They do make a couple of different versions of these. And with all that, it's going to uh, definitely going to pay in, um, in price. Now this does come with uh, coil and, and spring shocks you can see here. However, I heard the ride on these are actually pretty pretty rough at times. They're not as smooth, smooth as you would think. And I think it comes probably from the tires that it uses. Uh, these have very wide tires, as you can see, at four and a half inches wide. So probably the wide, widest tires I've seen. Um, most of the time you have to put your foot down to be able to keep yourself up if you're not moving on your scooter. Um, this one, you can actually stand up straight and not be moving um, because of that ultra-wide tire. It keeps it upright. Um, so, But also affects the way you're, you're turning. It's going that you're going to have to lean more into... The scooter turns um, almost like a, you would have to on a motorcycle, but has all these fun colors. You can see on here on the front, on the side. Yeah, pretty pretty nuts scooter here. If this is uh, something that you consider. All right, so that is the last uh, of our scooters that we're going to be looking at here. So that is it, scooter fans. Thanks for sticking with me through this. I know it was, a, it was a long video, but I think it has a lot of quality and information to it. Hopefully it helps you get to your new amazing and awesome scooter that you plan on riding and purchasing soon. And I hope this was helpful to you, the information. If you have any questions, definitely leave them below. This is a fun video to make. Uh, really got me looking at the scooters again, some that I haven't looked at in a while. Um, but it's definitely fun to be able to help any new scooters out there try to get uh, on one of these and, and just start having fun, riding around and having a blast because that's really what they are in the end. So until next time, happy scootering, have fun, be safe, and take care.